Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC and I'm here with my brand new Shapoko 5. I picked it up in January. It's kind of taken me this long to uh, get it swapped out with my Pro, which is actually above your head. Um, got it up on my uh, ceiling lift so I can keep it out of the way, but still have access to it when I need to. But I'm going to be moving to this machine here, um, the Shapoko 5. This is a 4x2 version. Um, I've got it loaded up exactly where I've been running my, my uh, Pro. And well, the first thing I want to do is I want to add an 80 millimeter spindle onto it, but not just any 80 millimeter spindle. I'm going to add our ATC. This is the 1.5 kilowatt air cool or water cooled um, ATC. But being as the Shapoko's controller cannot support a an AT a full automatic uh, tool changer, what we're going to do is we're going to use it in manual tool change mode. Um, and I will set up my uh, entire setup, give, go through the uh, ins and outs and how I set it up and how I run it and that sort of thing. But for this video, uh, the very first step is we've got to get our 80 millimeter mount on there. So we designed this here in house. Um, this is available on our website where you can basically remove the 65 millimeter mount, add an 80 millimeter mount right on there and in order to uh, mount your either an 80 millimeter spindle or one of our ATCs. So uh, yeah, stick with me, let's, uh, let's dig into it. The spindle mount and four um, M6 screws come with that, long screws come with that. You'll need a, uh, an M5 hex wrench. Um, along with that, we've got adapter plate. The adapter plate basically allows us to put the same mount on a variety of different machines in order to uh, you know, add 80 millimeters to basically any machine uh, that we have an adapter plate for. So this adapter plate is the one that comes for, or that is for the Shapoko 5. And we'll need, we've got two, or I'm sorry, four um, M6 um, small head screws here, which for that you'll need an M4 um, hex wrench. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the original spindle mount. So they, I've only got it mounted on here with two screws, so it'll be really quick to remove. So this is the plan all along. But I've got all the screws here. Um, here's the original mount. We're just going to set that aside because we will no longer need that. All we're going to do is take that four inch hex wrench, one of these short M6 screws, and we're going to mount it right onto the existing screws. So I've got all the screws on there. But now that we have our mounting plate on there, our adapter plate, um, I prefer to have the slit in the mount on the right side. There are various uh, mounting holes for additional accessories. Um, I'm actually working on one. I'm hoping to uh, release it here pretty soon. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna mount that right side with a couple of these long screws. The spindle should basically mount almost perfectly uh, center on the carriage. Now, I'm going to position both of them, just pushing down with equal force just to make sure that it's in a nice position to tighten down the left side screws. The right side screws, you're going to wait until you have the spindle sitting in place. That's it. Um, as you can tell, it's a super easy installation, uh, just an adapter plate and the spindle mount, and now you have an 80 millimeter mount. On so your... I hope you found that instructions um, pretty easy. That was kind of a short snippet of the entire MTC, ATC installation on my Shapoko 5. Um, first, I needed to add that 80 millimeter mount, um, which is attached to the original Z carriage that comes on the Shapoko 5. Um, I've got my um, ATC hooked up right now um, with the mount. I've also got some additional accessories mounted onto here, as, as you see it in the screen, which is my GoPro mount, which comes right off the front. It's, a, it's an easy install to install this mount. It gives you access to installing either a, uh, an ATC or a 80 millimeter spindle, if you wish to go that route. Obviously, we have um, water-cooled, metalworking, um, as well as air-cooled spindles available, all in the 80 millimeter mount, and that half inch um, collet capability. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below or reach out to us at support at pwncnc.com and we've got an entire team ready to help you out. Don't forget, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.